I'm WSA 9 Weather Watch Meteorologist Topper Shut. We are tracking Fiona, and all indications are Fiona is going to be a Category 4 storm uh, by Wednesday afternoon. And just a textbook eye. Uh, as of uh, Tuesday evening, I mean, that's just textbook as it pulls away in the Turks and Caicos. We've circled this area uh, just off of the South American coast, and this is uh, very concerning because this is going to take a more southerly track, probably south of Puerto Rico, south of the uh, DR in Haiti, and probably kind of curving up around Cuba and then in the Gulf of Mexico. If this were to develop, that would become Tropical Storm Hermine. We already have Hurricane Gaston. And that's pulling away. That's just a, a fish storm. But this is what we're concerned about because it's going to go in the Gulf of Mexico could affect the East Coast. I mean, the Gulf Coast, and it could affect us on the East Coast in terms of maybe storms and, and some severe weather. OK, so what do hurricanes need? They need warm, warm sea surface temperatures. And man, is it out there? I mean, 84 degrees just north of the, the DR and on its way to Bermuda as it tracks more north and then northeast. Water temperature 86 degrees. That is just going to fuel Fiona. And one reason I think the National Hurricane Center thinks it's going to become a Category 4 uh, during the day on Wednesday. There's no upper air uh, currents to hinder that development either. So you need both. All right, let's talk about wave heights. Uh, let's zoom in a little bit. As of Tuesday night, north of the Turks Caicos, right there in the bullseye, the dark gold, wave height of 31 feet. <laughs> That's crazy, and that is headed north and then northeast uh, toward Bermuda. Okay, so what about the eye? I mean, that is just simply textbook. It's probably about 10 miles in diameter, which is a pretty good, pretty good size eye. Good news, though, you know, the Puerto Rico is done with storms. A couple leftover showers and storms in the DR, and that is about it. It's going to move away pretty quickly. So here are the spaghetti plots. Now, each line is a computer model. And they're in pretty good agreement taking the storm primarily west of Bermuda. The closer it gets to Bermuda, while it stays west, is going to be worse for Bermuda, especially because they have this forecast to be a Category 4 as it's flying by. Um, so that's pretty good agreement, really, uh, all things considered. Now, here's what the National Hurricane Center track looks like. It takes all of that information, and this is the official track. Category 4 by 2 p.m. on Wednesday. Category 4 by th uh, 3 p.m. on Thursday. Winds 140. And remember... When we say winds are 140, that's sustained winds of 140. That's some incredible energy, not gusts, sustained. By just after midnight Friday, late Thursday night, it is west of Bermuda as a Cat 4. The good news is it's pretty far west, and the official track takes it pretty far west and then slams it toward Newfoundland. Even by, you know, 3 p.m. on Saturday, winds could be 100 miles per hour. Uh, I know it says an L here, but it takes it from a cat two to an L a little too quickly for my taste. Uh, it's still going to be a hurricane uh, before it makes landfall with winds 100 miles an hour. OK, so we talk about categories a lot and, and Fiona's our first quote major hurricane. What is a major hurricane? Cat three or higher. So cat three sustained winds are 111 to 129. Get to a cat four, 130 to 156 and then you know, anything uh, over 156 is a Category 5 um, storm. So right now it's a Category 3, but more than likely it's going to be a Category 4 uh, during the day on a Wednesday. Okay, so the names. We're all the way down to Gaston. And Danielle was a Category 1. Earl was a Category 2. Fiona's a Category 3, probably destined to be a 4. Category 1 for Gaston. Uh, the, uh, the first few storms, first three storms, were just simply uh, tropical storms. And Hermine is next up uh, on the list, and, and we'll see um, if Hermine develops in the next two to three days. So the forecast, remember, uh, you know, National Hurricane Center said, hey, we're going to have 14 to 20 name storms. Of those, 6 to 10 will become hurricanes. Of those, 3 to 5 will become major hurricanes. Um, so we'll see. We're only on um, um, our first major hurricane, uh, as, but but that said, we're in the in the throes of pretty serious um, development in terms of the month. I mean, this is the month. September is the hurricane month. Thirty-six percent of all storms develop. October, nineteen percent uh, still possible, but this is the time to make hay, so to speak. And we are with Fiona, and I think Hermine will develop and head toward the Gulf late this week and into next week.